here we go. It says Ancient Silk Road. Do you see that? Oh, okay, Silk Road, right. Okay. Now, this, the Silk Road was very old. Okay. All right. Now, what are the locations at each end, the eastern end and the western end? What are the two ends of it? Where are they located? Okay. Uh, it seems it's uh, Inns or Stutter at Rome, right? Well, and, okay. And the other Inns or Stutter at China. I don't know what, what part of China. Right. So, well, we can, from the map, can we say that it was, we're looking at the interior of China? Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Most of this is overland, correct? Right, correct. Like camels. Right. Part of it is not overland. Can you describe the part that's not overland? Yeah, I think in, it is over Istanbul, yeah, right? Okay. Istanbul. Istanbul was uh, Constantinople, right? Correct. And by the way, the the end that's, that looks somewhat close to Rome is the Italian city of Ancona. Ancona, okay. Okay. Now, there's another Italian city that's on the, that coast, the Adriatic coast, that's a very famous trading city. Mm, I don't know, it could be uh, Capri or Venice, Venezia? Capri's on Venice? the other side. On this side, it's uh -huh. Venice. How does the okay. boat navigate between Italy and Istanbul? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, well, obviously with boats, but I don't know. With, with well, okay, boats. obviously navigation is, at that time, more mm -hmm. than 500 years ago, it would be boats, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. right. right. And uh, it had to go around what country? Uh, well, it looks like Bulgar Bulgaria, 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 but what about having to go around Greece, Greece, right? And then right. it it goes through it, it uh, Turkey and reaches what country? Uh, Syria, right. Iraq, Iran, mm -hmm. uh, Turkmenistan, mm -hmm. Uzbekistan, mm -hmm. Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Right. Pakistan also. There's a particular part of this where we see high mountains. Uh huh. Yeah. What the, part of the, it? Yeah, it could be the Himalayan. Yeah, the Himalayan mountains. You're going through what country on the map? Or what countries? Oh, okay. Uh, Tajikistan and Kyrgy right. Kyrgyzstan. Right. Okay, very good. Now, what symbols do or icons do we see on the map? Okay, icons, uh, we will see camels. <laughs> right. And um, horses. Okay. And then close to Uzbekistan, there are a kind of palace. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then in Italy, we will see the Coliseum. Right. And in China, we will see the big wall, right? Right, or the Great oh, Wall, correct. Great Wall. Now, Great wall. the one that's above Uzbekistan it has a blue color. Could that be a mosque? Uh-huh. Right, it looks like a mosque. It actually has four towers around it, two on the left and two on the right. Do you see those? Right. So they uh -huh. are um, called minarets. Okay. Okay. So that symbolizes something. Okay. What would a what does a mosque represent? Uh, it's a kind of cemetery. Well, what religion does it represent? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have the, uh, the Islam or Muslim religion. Ah, okay. Okay, right? got it. I see. And by the way, um, one of the structures that's maybe the most famous is the Taj Mahal. I see. And the red men and horses, why do you think they are there? Between Kyrgyzstan and the icon for the Great Wall. Mm, yeah, they look like um, soldiers or warriors or something. I think so, right. They're warriors, right. They're Mongol warriors. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. 
Now we're going to look at another map here. Now here we got a more complicated map. Can we say that we have a northern route and a southern route? Mm, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, and all right. Is there a mm -hmm. fundamental difference between the northern route and the southern route? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, it's yeah. It seems uh, uh, they are trying to border or yeah or to surround the the I don't know the uh, one of the sea, you know. Well, what is the, uh, is there a fundamental difference in terms of the mode of transportation? Okay. Between the northern routes and the southern routes. Okay, yeah, I don't know, maybe it's, it was about um, uh, the, I don't know, maybe the transportation, it will be with camels or... Well, which would be camels, the, the, the red route or the blue route? Uh, no, I think that is the blue route, uh, the red route, sorry. Yeah, the red route. Okay, so the red route would be camels and the blue route, the sea, uh, the sea route wouldn't be camels. What would it be? Uh, with um, boats or with, yeah, with big boats. Right, yeah. Good. Now, do you see uh, any countries named on the map that are no longer exist? Ah, uh, yeah, no. The Byzantine, Byzantium. Yeah, Byzantium. Alex, yeah, Alexandria. And well, that still Constant exists. That's a city. It still exists, by the way. Ah, uh, uh, but Constantinople uh, is actually is, it is Istanbul right now. Right. And then Persia. Right. And yeah, yeah. I you think basically that's... covered it, except in the, uh, the look at the sea route, um, south of China, there's it says Sri Vihaya, I think, something like that, correct? Mm. Okay, Sri Vihaya. The route is between two modern countries. Do you know what they are? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it could be, it could be in Thailand or maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's well, it could be what Thailand. about Malaysia? Ah, Malaysia, yeah, right. Uh, and then what about um, Indonesia? Indonesia, yeah, that makes sense. Uh -huh. Now, in the lower right hand corner, it says Spice Islands. Mm hmm. Now, why do you think they were called the Spice Islands? I don't know, maybe for the pepper and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could be. <laughs> right. Okay, good. This is called One Belt, One Road. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, this is modern. It's not ancient. Okay. Mm -hmm. And can we say that to some extent it approximates the ancient Silk Road? To some extent. Yeah, to Moscow. Huh? Right. Yeah. Now, can you see some places that the ancient Silk Road did not reach? Oh uh, yeah, uh, Rotterdam in Holland and Moscow and Nairobi. <laughs> well, I don't know about Nairobi, um, but the other I agree about Moscow and Rotterdam. We've got uh, Marco Polo maps here. What okay. can you tell me? What do you know about Marco Polo? Okay, I know a few things about Marco Polo. He's mm. one of the the best explorer in in the history. Mm. Okay, and it seems he, he, he went from Venice until China, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, using boats, using ships <laughs> from mm -hmm. Venice to Israel, Jerusalem, mm -hmm. and then goes through Armenia mm -hmm. until the Persian Gulf. Mm -hmm. And then crossing, uh, and then through the Himalayas, uh, Tajikistan, and then uh, uh, Mongolian steepest step mm -hmm. steps, and yeah. then and then China, right? Right. Okay. Very good. Now we can find another map here. Let's compare this with another. Here's another map, a little bit different. Mm, yeah. 
Uh, right. Um, yeah, this this goes. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's like a circle. Yeah. Uh, it seems like the um, harmus. It is um, the common the common city or yeah harmus. They right. go to they they go through Istanbul using the Istanbul road. Right. And then from Hormos goes to to the to Talokan, Kashnar, Kutan, and then goes to to the south part of India, right? Using the the ocean. Okay, that that's the return route, isn't it? Ah, uh, is it a return? Ah, okay, I see. Okay, okay. very good. Now. Part of this, it looks like he made at least he made some side trips. We can say, can you describe a side trip that he made? Yeah, he made the uh, the Liangonshu uh, Karakoron, one of those sites, and then from Pekin to Mayen, Kungmin, and then Pekin again. Okay. Yeah. And how about in the north, from? Le Liang Zhou. Did you make a side uh, trip there? Uh, it's from the Liang Zhou to Karakoron. Right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Good. Uh -huh. All right. And, uh, okay, let's look at another map here. So we got two more maps. This is similar, isn't it? Uh, yes, it's similar. Pretty similar, I would say. All right. Now, they gave a name to the southern route in red. Okay. What name did they give to the southern route? The spicy route. Right. Let's look at the other map here. Mm -hmm. um, now, does this map have information that the other maps do not have? Uh, not at all, no. Yes. Basically, it is the same. Well, okay. Oh. Is it yeah, a political maybe. map more than the other maps? Yeah, absolutely, because uh, they difference, the, I think, the, the empires or, I don't know. <laughs> right. Well, let's look at Africa here. What countries are, are identified on the Africa map that still exist as a modern country? I think that only Ethiopia, right. Ethiopia. Good. Now, on the Arab Peninsula, what country? do we see that exists as a modern country? Uh, maybe Oman, right? Yes, Good. Oman. All right. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at the Indian, we call it the Indian subcontinent. All mm -hmm. right. So we see that uh, modern India is unified, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Do you see any uh, country on this old map that exists as a modern country? I think that I can notice only Nepal. Okay, good. All right. Mm, and that's it. Yeah. In the Southeast Asia, do you see a, a country that exists as a modern country? Hey, they look Malaysia. Okay, Malaysia. how about uh, closer to Kunming, China? Closer, in yellow. Okay, Laos. Oh, yeah. Right. Very good. Anything you would like to say or ask about any of this? And all, I think that they using they use the, the 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 ocean because they can they can broke with them uh, more more merchandise, you know. Let's look in Scandinavia in the Baltic region and Eastern Europe. What countries? still exist with the name that we see. Okay, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, um, Lithuania, Poland, and Hungary, and that's it. <laughs> okay, how about uh, Serbia? Serbia, Serbia, Croatia, okay, yeah, I see. Croatia? Serbia, I, I don't know, Croatia. Uh, it's there, how about Bulgaria? Bulgaria, all right. Uh, right. Moldavia, right? Also, well, there's a country called Moldova, so it's Mold um, Moldova. Uh, okay. approximately, but it's 
you know yeah, what? Yeah, um, you know, uh, those yeah. countries uh, change, <laughs> sadly. Right. And, A lot and... of change in that region, that's correct. Uh, did okay. you enjoy the lesson today? Yeah, it was uh, very, pretty interesting today, uh -huh. I would say. Good. Yeah. So, okay, so Good. see you next time. See you next okay. time, yeah. Bye-bye. I'm Eric. I'm from California in the United States, and my first language is English. I love photography. I also love cooking and food, and I love to travel. You should book a lesson with me, not because I'm interesting, but because I'm interested in you.